Might as well, I think, so we've probably touched on both tests from every angle we need to, so might as well get a few uh, official best bets out of each of you now. Um, start off back, back in the early game, New Zealand-Argentina. Uh, yeah, a bit of a tricky game to bet into, obviously, with the, the short odds for the All Blacks being a dollar six head-to-head, but I know you can always find a bit of value somewhere, Paul, so what, what's, your, uh, what's your best bet for that game? Yeah, I've gone uh, with the winning team in margin, the 10-point winning team in margin, uh, and, and I'm taking the All Blacks 21 to 30 at $4. Uh, I think that's exactly where this game's going to fall in that 21 to 30 uh, mark for the All Blacks. So I'm happy to take the $4 on offer there. All Blacks to win 21 to 30. Very nice. Uh, how about you, Steve? What have you been uh, punting on the last five or six minutes? Uh, no, I was, I'm going to stick with my $1.83 conservative minus 11 and a half uh, <laughs> ABs at half time. Nice one. And you, Richard, what's your best for the early game? Doesn't feel right. I'm taking the Argentina plus. It'll obviously, a lot will ride on the team's the name. But um, yeah, 23 and a half, a lot of points. Uh, and I think that they're probably good enough that they can and hopefully will cover it. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. I'm uh, going with another favourite of mine. If the 11 to 20 was my first baby on this podcast, then the half with most tries bet certainly been the, the new and uh, probably favourite second child because I think that's cash in every All Blacks game this season from what I can recall. I've been on most of them, but you're getting a dollar eighty three for the second half to be the half of the most tries. I know you've said, Steve, that they might come flying out of the gates, but I just think with the conditions and uh, surf is likely to be pretty warm on the ground in Argentina, not being super match fit, having been in quarantine and played a, certainly a different pace of rugby against the Springboks in those two tests, they could f- start falling off later in the game and the All Blacks will no doubt have plenty of guns to bring off the bench, whatever squad they do name. So could see a sort of scenario like the second half where you've got TJ Perinara and Rico Ioani just streaming into wide open spaces in the last 20 minutes and uh, yeah, cashing in... Uh, for the punters once again, and I think yeah, it was what two tries to five last game. So hopefully we see something like that. I can't believe I overlooked it. I got on it in Perth, so I uh, mm-hmm. can't believe I overlooked that. I'll, I'll be including that for my weekend. Yeah, yeah it's a, that'd be a nice little same game multi. I don't know if you can quite tee that up, but the, no, the no, minus no. in the first half. But yeah, have to maybe talk to the bookies about getting something loaded up. Um, anyway, onto the late game, ten o five, South Africa, Australia. Paul, I think I know where you're going, so I'll start with you. Minus eight and a half. Uh, and Richard, what's your, uh, your best with for this one? Oh, once again, doesn't feel right, but I'm looking at the history and uh, going with the plus eight and a half. Uh, box box twelve and under two sixty. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, I'm just I'm just going the uh, the minus eight and a half myself. I think yeah, it's like we said, there's a wide range of outcomes, but there's a there's a very nice ceiling on that minus eight and a half bet. I think where we see yeah. I was I was going off the bonus back. Oh, all right, of course. Yeah. Oh, well, glad oh, you I'm mentioned glad you, it. Glad you mentioned that because Paul, uh, I'll throw to you here. Can you, <laughs> you give the punters a little update on uh, rugby championship bonus back? Yeah, so we've got a rugby bonus back promotion on both of the rugby championship games this weekend: the All Blacks against Argentina and the Australians up against the South Africans. Uh, just place a pre-match winning team and margin bet. Uh, and that's the winning team in margin where it's 13 and over, 12 and under. Uh, so just a pre-match winning team in margin bet. And if your team wins, but you have the incorrect margin, we'll refund your bet up to $50 as a bonus bet. Mm. Uh, just head to the punter's lounge for all the T's and C's uh, regarding that promotion. Uh, but I I think um, I think we can sort of nail this one down. So obviously... Uh, if you think the All Blacks are going to win, uh, and you probably think they're going to win by 13 and over, you take them 13 and over, and if by some chance the uh, Argentinians sort of keep it a wee bit closer and the All Blacks only win by 1 to 12, bang, you, you get a bonus bet up to $50 sort of thing. So yeah, my one for that game is All Blacks 13 and over, and for the other game, it's Springboks 13 and over. Right. Uh, um, are you on both 13 pluses, Richard, or what's your... Um, yeah, all back 13 plus and South Africa 1 to 12 to 6. All right. Yeah. yeah. Steve, I know you're on uh, the, the 1 1 to 12. Uh, you're not going to cut it, your New Zealand 1 to 12 to go along with that, though? No, but uh, I like yeah, I like I like this bonus back. Yeah, it's a, it's mm. a wonderful little uh, addition, and I enjoy that. I enjoy playing around with that because, uh, as you say, between that and the NRL at the moment, there are some foregone conclusions. So, uh, 
you can have some fun if the result's not quite as big as you think. Yeah, I, I believe the Roosters were labelled an, an absolute certainty on the Advantage Line podcast yesterday. So Look, get on. <laughs> just, just get on. The yeah. Roosters, come on, they're playing the Titans. Fair dinkum. Jeepers creepers. There's enough people trying to talk the Titans up. They're a chance. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. You, you've been fooled by the uh, performance they put on against the Warriors, who were more <laughs> interested in fighting than playing rugby league. So they, the Gary, Roosters... Gary Campbell's the next Andrew Johns, though, isn't he? <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Okay. Roosters are getting some players back. Victor Radley's back in the pack. Oh, yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Good that we've got a little bit of rugby league uh, tips thrown out on the, the podcast too. That'll uh, keep everyone happy. But before we go, I'll just uh, get one value bet from each of you from across either game. You can you can chuck in the Curry Cup if you want, but I presume it'll come from the Rugby Championship. Uh, Paul, where are you going for a bit of value? Uh, well, I sort of liked your one second half most tries, but um, as it's only paying a dollar eighty three of. <laughs> I've had to look that's elsewhere. crazy value for you from some of the stuff you throw down on the podcast <laughs> this year. <laughs> Didn't I get one of that? Never mind. Uh, I'll go to the South African game and I'll go with the uh, winning team and margin, the 10-point winning team and margin. And I like South Africa to win by 31 to 40 at $14. <laughs> oh. I, I do think we're going to see something happen this Sunday night in Australia. I think they will um, really run over the top and I feel sorry. I feel sorry for the Australians. Oh, I take it from your very strong reaction there, Steve. That's uh, not what you've got lined up, did you? <laughs> look, look, I thought the value bet was sort of fried up in the air and, and hope for the best sort of scenario. So, and I didn't think we were chasing $14. Um, so for four fifty, I thought Aussie 12 and under. Okay. You know, That's just... Funny. Yeah. They just, just come out and Reese Hodge is at 10 and they're throwing it around and they can't, the South Africans can't keep up. Maybe an upset. Who knows? Yeah. And you know, if they do win by 13 plus, which yeah, well, could happen, <laughs> you've got your, your bonus back insurance there. So, yeah, it's all to play for. Um, how about you, Richard? What do you got lined up for a bit of value? Um, the All Blacks have been, but they've been slow starters um, this, this season, really. You know, and historically, they sort of start slow and they build up and they, they finish strong. Um, so I'm going to go with Argentina to score the first try in their match. Um, it's playing three dollars and eighty six cents. Nice, we've got, got all sorts of angles come, coming along here. Absolutely, so, right. <laughs> yeah, so one of us surely we can find a winner. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. At least all our best bets, I don't think, can be losers this week. So that's uh, something. We've uh, scattered I'm, them uh, all over the place. So somehow they'll be winning by twenty three and a half or eight and a half. They'll find a way to get half a point just to uh, kill the yeah. Pick and Go podcast. Yeah, no, I did uh, just also have South Africa feature in mind. Uh, not quite as crazy as Paul's, but I was just going into the alternate point start market and uh, going South Africa minus 20 and a half at 4.30. Like I said, uh, you can certainly, if someone tapped me on the shoulder and said, look, the box are going to win this game by by 30 plus, I would, wouldn't be shocked at all. So I think, yeah, maybe play into a few of those uh, little point start markets there. You can get minus 31 and a half at $10 if uh, you're as inclined as Paul are to the box chances. But Back one or two of them there, and if it does blow out late on, you could be in for a little bit of a payday. So that's what I'll be doing. Comes hopefully once I've got a bit of cash in my account from the All Blacks game. 